Surviving in the city with a 24-year-old mentally challenged son has been a hassle, but the story of Victoria Achu is set to change for the better. My colleague, Evelyn Arbaidu, has the rest of the story. On Monday, April 20, GH1 TV aired the story of a 63-year-old widow who spoke of untold hardship thrust upon her and her mentally challenged son. But two weeks after airing their plight on GH1 TV, the impact has been wide and felt. The items made up of mattress with a bed base, bags of rice, maize, gari, tubers of yam, cartons of tin fish, tomato paste, drinks, toiletries, amongst others, have been donated to alleviate the widow's plight. Led by reporter Evelyn Ooh. Araba Aidu, she presented the items together with an amount of 7,785 Ghana cities to her on Friday. We were here two weeks ago to tell your story to the world and God being so good, most of our viewers have come on board to support you and today in our hands and with all the monies collected, we have 7,785 cities plus all these items including mattress, pillows, blankets and all that for you. And this is from the people out there who watched your story and they were touched. And so on behalf of GH1 TV, the EIB network, the newsroom, everybody, we are presenting this amount and the items to you. The 63-year-old widow was emotional upon seeing the love shown her. Yeah. With songs of praises, she expressed her appreciation to the station and the kind-hearted public. With her 24-year-old son, Eric, could not hide his excitement. Her mentally challenged son is also going to receive medical treatment, kind Ketsi the Mental Health Foundation, which has already made an initial payment of 1,000 Ghana cities. Again, Plans are far advanced to get the family proper accommodation. The hitherto used plastics collector is now poised to start her own business. And a special thank you to all of you who donated to this woman's course. God bless you. We are grateful. Continue to be good to us here at GH1 Television. Let's bring you his own now.